Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Todd with Film Bodega and I'm gonna show you how to take this video and make it look a little more like this. And to do that, we're gonna use our dust elements as well as Adobe After Effects. All right, and so getting started, let's just kind of dissect our shot here. We have a lot of pretty cool things going on and we have these beams of light. What I usually like to do when you have some beams of light is that's a perfect opportunity to add in some other volumetric elements like dust or something like that kind of floating around where there's a lot of illumination shooting through and so therefore other things might get illuminated like some dust. So I'm gonna load in our dust elements here and so when you open it up you'll see there are 25 different ones. These are all 6K. Um, very high quality, high bit rate um, MP4 files. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this footage, forest beams is what I've called it, and I'm gonna drag it to a new comp. And now there's a lot of different ways that you can do this in After Effects, but you know, let's pull out, let's pull out some of the stops. And uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna open up this little tracker panel. I'm gonna select our footage and I'm going to choose track camera. All right, and after a brief wait, you'll see now when we have our footage and this uh, effect up here in the effects controls panel, the 3D camera tracker has appeared. And when you have that selected, you'll notice all of these points show up. And so what that is, is these points correspond with obviously trackable contrasty points in the footage. And so uh, usually what I'll do is I'll just create a couple of reference solids. So what you do is you can just drag and select um, just some of these points and then you right click and you can say you know create solid and camera create you know etc and so what you can do is actually just using this tracking data you you can actually just create a camera and what that'll do is it'll create a camera down in here where uh, it's using all of this data to you know create a nice tracked scene i'll just create a couple of reference solids if you click and drag you can select multiple points right click create solid so we've got a little solid here, and uh, let's just kind of see how that tracks to the scene. Beautiful. And then uh, we'll just do it a couple more times so that we have a few different little points of reference. So uh, these are kind of bigger. That means they're a little closer to the camera. That would be a good thing to have. So we're gonna select all that. We're gonna right click, create solid. I'm gonna select back here. These are kind of further away. Also good reference to have, create solid. So I'll usually just name these layers in order of how they kind of appear in the scene. So one, two, and three so we have all this nice tracking data and all these nice little reference solids that we can use and so how about we actually start using the product what do you say so um i'm gonna use this god ray dust this has ended up being kind of one of my favorite uh ones from the pack so i'm gonna just drag that in and boom gonna make it 3d and i'm going to use some of that tracking data so here in the uh on this first one this number one i'm gonna hit p and I'm actually just gonna steal the position information from that uh, reference solid. So I'm just gonna select it, control C, go to our dust element and control V right on the position. And uh, just so you know, when I click on these layers, I'm hitting the P key to bring that up. So we have these smaller dust elements and then we have all kinds of different stuff. We've got these uh, ones where it's like really heavy and sort of large and you get some more out of focus points of light. We get some where it's, you know, swirly. So, you know, there was like kind of a lot of different things happening with the, the movement of the, the wind in the room, I guess you would say when we were recording these. So, you know, we kind of separated all those out and named them accordingly. So this one's like kind of got a swirly, almost like, um, like nuclear fallout apocalyptic feel. Um, this one I called God Ray because it kind of feels like, you know, oh, like there's just light coming down. Um, and so what I'm going to do is sort of imagine that this little corner here is coming from this beam of sunlight. So I'm going to I'm going to use the rotate tool and After Effects just change these gizmos and I'm still getting used to it. Um, so first off, you're probably thinking, well, hey, that why is that black? Uh, that doesn't look cool, man. So pretty easy. We're going to change the overlay mode to screen or add. So if, if you want more punch, you'll use add. If you want it to look more natural, you'll use screen. So I hope you can see that. You'll get start getting some really, really finely detailed dust in the scene. If I want the dust to pop out better, I'm actually just gonna go to this force beams footage and I'm gonna take the curves. Uh, I'm gonna go to effect, color correction, curves, and I'm actually just gonna kind of color correct it. I'm gonna bring down some of the highlights and I'm gonna crunch down the blacks a little bit. So now, hopefully you can see we're getting a little bit more of this dust kind of popping out. So I'll just sort of massage that till it looks 
till it looks kind of all right. And then um, I'm gonna do a similar thing to the dust. So one thing I do advise on every single time you use one of these dust elements, I advise that you add just a little bit of contrast to it. You just wanna make sure that these are popping out real nice. Um, so that's what I usually do. I'll take, you know, just a curves adjustment and I'll put it on, on every single dust element. So let's see what happens now when I scrub through you'll see that the these dust elements are actually kind of hanging out and they're staying right there in the, uh, the spot that, that you know we put them with this reference solid. So they're kind of moving naturally, right? And so we're gonna just continue to build out the scene. So each one of these, they're gonna have a hard edge, okay? So all of these dust elements, they have kind of a hard edge. So what I've gotten in, into the practice of doing is just making sure that they look more natural on the edges because you know it's it's 6k footage but there is a hard edge. So what you do is with your dust element selected you're just going to double click on the uh, this square mask tool rectangle tool and it's going to create a square uh, mask along the edges of the entire element here. And so with that selected now we'll just double tap the M key. So now we have all these options and I'm going to just drag in the expansion and so what that's doing is it's kind of cutting the edges it's bringing these edges up a bit uh, let's go somewhere around uh, something like let's try 400 and then we're gonna feather it about this the same amount so we'll go feather it to 400 and so now you're gonna have a more natural fall off and this sort of edge won't be really noticeable to the viewer. I'm gonna go ahead and for now I'm just gonna turn these off so they're not kind of distracting us from what we're doing here so now we've got this really nice dust element that's blending in the scene and it looks very natural, right? So the small ones are good for creating sort of a more natural look, right? And so let's uh let's go a little more let's go a little more crazy with it, right? So we've got we've got these small ones in here and they're coming in through this beam. So you know, and I think we need some stuff that looks a little closer to the camera. What I tend to like to use are some of these larger ones. So we have these layered uh, dust elements, which are there's like more bokeh and out of out of focus kind of points to these and so those tend to work really nice as like kind of more uh, playing closer to the camera and a really good way to just build this out super quick without having to do a bunch of you know the same stuff over and over i'm going to take this dust element that i've already added to the scene and i'm going to hit Control d and duplicate command d if you're on a mac and then so what we're going to do is i'm just going to kind of drag this around and so what do we what do we want we wanted it to look closer to the camera right we wanted it to be bigger and we wanted it to look closer to the camera so how do we do that? Well, the, the easiest way to do that is to, uh, let's just move it forward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the P key, bring up the position um, parameter here on the, the timeline, and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna drag this closer to the camera, just like that. And so now we've taken the position data from that first reference solid and we're just bringing it closer, right? And so now with that layer selected, we can select the dust element that we wanted to use and you hold down the Alt key, drag down, and boom, now it's replaced it. So we have this curves over here and I'm actually, I'm gonna bring this up. So I want I want this dust popping out big time. So I'm just gonna bring up these highlights and that, see that's the thing that I wanted to show you is you know, you can really control the amount of dust. So like say if I wanted less dust, um, I could take this uh, higher end of the curve here and bring it down. And so now the dust is all but gone. I'm just gonna start duplicating stuff and I'll kind of talk you through it, but I'm gonna start duplicating these and just finding new uh, dust elements and just adding them in. So um, I'm gonna do control D again, and we're gonna, let's just shift this over on the X axis. So, you know, we have stuff more further down the line. Um, I'm gonna rotate it uh, just a little bit, just like that. And then uh, let's do, how about some, um, let's see, let's do some bright large dust and see what that looks like. Boom, okay, so now we're getting like some pretty bright dust over here. And uh, let's go back into our effects controls. Let's bring that down, kind of make it a little more natural. Um, and then one thing that I really love, so I think we've got enough of this main comp dust. I, I think actually, I'm gonna take this first God Ray dust. I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna shift it. Uh, I'm just gonna literally just drag it over here and then uh, let's rotate it on the z-axis and one thing that i you know i got really into when i was making the trailer for this product is having this bokeh dust is uh just really nice because what you can do i'm gonna take one and uh i'm gonna take this one that i just duplicated and i'm gonna move it kind of to the middle of the scene and i'm gonna make it bigger quite a bit bigger and uh let's kind of square it up 
and I'm gonna grab this uh, anamorphic bokeh dust. And so th 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 this was shot with an actual anamorphic lens. On this one, I'm gonna actually turn down the, the feather because I want it I wanted a little more filling to the edges of the frame here. And um, so it's very subtle. It's very, very subtle. And that's kind of what I like about it. It sort of just gives more texture to the edges of the frame. Down here in this corner, you just get like a little a little oval. And it might it might be hard to see on this, you know, OBS recording, but it looks really it, it sells it sells things pretty well in my opinion. And so I'm gonna do something that I would kind of call maybe more of an advanced technique. I'm gonna take our bottom layer here and I'm gonna duplicate it. And so now we've got this one right here and I'm gonna drag it to the top. And what I wanna do is I wanna separate these beams in terms of their light or luma values. I'm gonna separate them and I'm gonna use these beams to guide where the dust is going to show up. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. First off, we can, um, we can go ahead and clear out the camera tracker on this layer because we're not gonna need that again. And on this curves adjustment, I'm gonna reset that. First, I'm gonna go to effect, color correction, tint, and we're gonna make this black and white. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush this down all the way, okay? Or really just, like I said, we're separating the beams from the background. So this is kind of good, right? What I wanna do is I just want all the parts that are bright to be, you know, completely whitish, and then all the parts that are dark to be, you know. So this is good right here. So we still have a little bit of gradation on the beams, but we, all these black areas, the darker areas of the image are, you know, pretty much black. So that's, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to put a copy of it above each of these dust elements. Uh, and so we're going to select all of our dust elements. We're going to go here to this track mat section, and I'm going to go to Luma mat. Uh, forest beams and what it's going to do is it's going to select the video layer above each one that you selected and it's going to use the luma mat so now if we look at just solo these you can see we have basically just soloed into these areas we have the uh, dust in the, those luma mats and after a quick render here's what we've ended up with so thanks for checking out our product and uh, yeah hopefully you found this helpful oh, oh.